Hi everybody, I'm down here. Now that we're all warmed up, we're ready to start our week four yoga practice. Now today we're gonna do two new poses. Now if you haven't been with us all along, make sure you go back and watch the other yoga videos because these will be our sixth and seventh poses that we've already learned. So it's very important you try to keep up. And if you have been with us all along, after today you already know again seven yoga poses, which is enough to do a full yoga workout if you put them all together. Now in the first video, if you haven't been with us, I talked a lot about many of the benefits of yoga and I'll touch on those as we do some of these poses. Now here we go. I'm already ready to do the first pose. I'm down here concentrating on my breathing in and out, lean flat to the ground. And we're gonna to transition to what's called the happy baby pose, which you see behind me. Now if you have a baby brother or sister, I bet you didn't know they were yoga experts. We call those people yogis. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up behind me, and again, you'll see the happy baby pose. They call it that because every baby does this pretty much. Okay? Without even knowing it, they're doing yoga. So here's how we do the happy baby. Again, just concentrate on your back. When you get ready to do this, you'll want to look straight at the ceiling, so I'll no longer be looking at you. I'm just going to be looking up. Now, the next thing we want to do, once we concentrate on our breathing for a few seconds here, we're going to slowly bring our knees towards our chest like so. We're going to keep our back flat against the ground now. Now the woman on the screen is grabbing her feet from the outside. I'm going to grab from the inside, which is generally the way it's taught. And traditionally, you're actually going to grab your toes. But I like to grab my feet, and most beginners are going to have an easier time grabbing their feet. Now once you grab the top of your feet here, you're going to slowly pull your knees out and down towards the ground and trying to keep your back flat keeping your head and shoulders flat against the ground and then just concentrating on your breathing and what you'll notice is a few things happening this is primarily a stretch not a lot of strength on this one much more flexibility so we're going to feel our lower back muscles stretching you will feel your inner thigh muscles your adductors stretching and you're just going to concentrate on relaxing and breathing and pulling your knees down and out. You can also use your elbows here, which is why it's a good idea to grab from the inside and push your knees out a little bit to help widen your hips. So again, hips, adductors, or what we're stretching, lower back muscles are stretching. And, and release. Give your knees a little hug here and then go all the way back to the start. That's the happy baby. We'll try that one, one more time. So let's just center ourselves here on the ground, concentrating on our breathing, relaxing, nice and controlled breathing. Sorry, trying to get our picture back. And here we go. Bring our knees to the chest. Grab your feet again. Grab from the inside or the outside. Inside, I feel like you get a little better stretch. And again, traditionally, real yogis would grab their toes and do what we call a toe lock, but that's very difficult for beginners. Even I won't be doing that one today. And once we're here, pull your knees out and down. Feel your lower back muscles stretching. Keep your head and shoulders against the ground. Knees are going out and down. Inner thigh muscles are stretching, adductors, hip flexors are stretching. Happy baby. Now remember, the longer we hold these stretches, the better in all these positions. And if you can't hold it all the way through, you can let go at any point. The longer you hold them, the better. And real experienced yogis will hold these positions for about a minute at a time and then transition to the next position. And they will put all their positions together into a workout. And relax. Return to the start and concentrating on your breathing. All right. That was the happy day. All right, we're going to work on uh, the next one now. And at the end, just like always, you can do some more practice on your own of both of these stretches 
both of these poses and some of the others as well. All right, let's start the next one. All right, we're ready for the next one. Now the next pose we're working on is called the candle pose. Now the candle pose is gonna strengthen our abdominal muscles and it's gonna help us later this week when we get back to our gymnastics. We're gonna do a really fun new gymnastics trick or a new role um, and this one will really help. So make sure you're practicing this one. Now, all we're gonna do for this one is start off just like we did with the Happy Baby. We're gonna lay down, hands against the ground, arms against the ground, and then we're just gonna lift our legs straight up to here. Okay, now so far, not doing too much. We wanna concentrate on keeping our legs nice and straight. Now we're gonna push our feet towards the sky, and now use your hands on your hips here, and try and keep your legs as straight as possible. And now we look kind of like a candle. Now, real experienced yogis can get actually their whole body straight from their shoulder up. I don't want you to try and go too high up right now. Just try and hold this. Now, my muscles are starting to shake already. And let's go ahead and lower slowly and go back to flat. So you won't be able to hold this one as long. Again, this one's a really challenging one. So give yourself a little break here and concentrate on your breathing. Toes pointed towards the sky. And let's try again. Lift your legs up nice and straight. And simultaneously push your feet towards the sky and push with your hands. Keep your legs as straight as you can. Support your hips with your hands. And just try and hold your position nice and steady. At first, just try and hold this maybe for a good five or 10 seconds. And then slowly start to progress. Again, give yourself a little break between each repetition, and then you can try again. So we'll do one more together, and then again, you can try on your own and practice all your yoga poses this week when you get some downtime. Get your parents doing them as well. All right, here we go. Last time with the candle pose. Again, bring your legs up nice and straight. Push with your hands and your feet straight up through the sky, and try and keep your legs nice and straight. Hold it, strengthening your abdominal muscles. Holding, holding, and bring it down. Nice and slow. Whew, I'm breathing hard already. The candle pose is a hard one. So again, practice this pose, all the other yoga poses we're learning. And again, you feel your body getting stronger. After you finish, you should feel nice and relaxed. We're working on our flexibility, so, so many benefits of yoga. So I hope you're enjoying these poses so far. Practice them this week. All right, let's get to the next session, and we'll see you in that, in that one. Bye, everybody.